Okie dokie artichokey, here we go again. It's a beautiful, fantabulous Friday, and we are on our way, well, we're pretty damn close now, to Lakeside Speedway here in, uh, I don't know, Kansas City. We're up, we're up, we're up here somewhere. Um, so, we have uh, better gear in the car, we got some water wetter in the old girl, and there's a couple few tricks and taps, whoa, hello Porsche, that uh, we've got in store. Um, hopefully, that leads into a better than, you know, last in the pack. Maybe a top five, maybe a number one. Who freaking knows? But stay tuned and find out. We'll hit you with the update here shortly. Love, peace, and chicken grease. There's a train. I'm gay. Welcome to Lakeside Speedway, the home of the banging ass mullet. Here we go. Yo, anybody play fucking Need for Speed Underground 2? Riders on the storm, boom, boom. If it's good enough for Jimmy, it's good enough for you. I have a feeling that if Jimmy didn't get into uh, some street racing stuff and Fox body things, he'd probably enjoy a little bit of dirt. He's probably a lot like me. I like going fast, but uh, this, is pretty, this is pretty cool too. I mean, especially after his little stunt the other day, you know, going teriyaki boys at the drag strip. I think he's got a future in uh, dirt track. What do you think? Alrighty, so after talking to the man, the myth, the legend, and all both of those guys, they got five O's in the bastard, so they shouldn't be running out of gear anytime soon. They should be able to hang it loose and let her eat. Here comes the hot laps. Check it out. We got Uncle Bobby B and Captain Yes Sir. -y. Let's let her eat, baby. Looking good. Whole head, baby. Whole head. All right, ladies, here we go. Keep your eyes on 12 and 56. I'll try to keep them in frame, but if they did, they just, they, uh, oh my God, worse. If they happen to take off from each other, there's nothing I can do about it, sorry, in advance. This is the second time that Uncle Bobby B has been out in that 56. Don't know what to expect, but we'll give it a shot. today holy cow nice let's go see him in the pits alrighty the number 12 is heat one first row outside and uncle bobby b is heat two row uh three inside let's party yes sir Here we go
right, now Uncle Bobby B's turn. <laughs> Uncle Bobby B on this. Tighten up, tighten up, baby. Here we go.
worldwide surprise. God damn. Look at Bobby B, looking good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He lost his whole <laughs> side. God bless him. They ask you how you are. Oh, just you're just the other guy. Fine. Damn, they got some work to do on those two cars. God bless them. Killing it, Uncle Bobby B and Jesse been killing it. They're sitting there eight through ten right now. And here we go. My shirt, my shirt's awful patriotic. I like your shirt too. So number 12 was getting told by the track guy to go to the back. He's patting his butt and signaling him to go to the back. The problem is his headset is not working, so he's not getting any messages from the tower, from anybody else saying, hey, you need to go to the back. Being as new to this as we are, 
he did not know the hand signal. That means go to the back. He took that as he had a broken rear axle and to get off the track. So what does he do? As the nice, kind guy that he is, he goes ahead and takes himself out of the equation. Come to find out that he was blamed for putting 79 into the infield. Okay, to surmise the rest of the video, uh, Uncle Bobby B, as we've been calling him, number 56, he's now number 81. That was the old number off the uh, previous guy he bought it from. He finished ninth. And Jesse, number 12, wound up 15th for pulling. He ended up pulling off three laps early because he didn't understand the hand signals of, you know, pat your butt and get to the rear. His little race quip spawn responder thingy, boom, Bob, it died. So he had no idea what was going on. To tell you the truth, I believe they made an iffy call. Um, I don't think that Jesse caused that. I think that 79 washed up into him. Uh <laughs> What didn't look right or just couldn't see him and ended up colliding with them. They bounced off each other. Jesse stayed in the track. The other guy landed in the in the grass. He ended up getting back into the into the race, like no harm, no foul. But his car was already pretty botched up, I believe, from uh getting hit earlier in that night. So it is what it is. Uh car was relatively healthy, so we thought. Um come to find out. Uh, from earlier in that night, there's a spot you can see where he kind of bumped the wall. He grazed it a bit. That, comp it was held on by about, I don't know, a half an inch of metal. But the upper control arm was a damn near sheared off. Um, so I'll post, a, I'll put a pic in here. I said forget about it, cuz. But as soon as he backed off the trailer, it completely came off. So... Regardless if he made them, if if it was his fault or whoever, however they wanted to roll it, he pulled off at the perfect time because instead of having it be thousands of dollars of damage, it became a headache and maybe like a hundred bucks. But congrats to Uncle Bobby B. He pulled it off. He stayed on track. He kept clean. Easy peasy. But uh, I think we're going to I-70 this coming weekend. So look forward to the video on that. Till then, we'll see you soon. Bye.